All right, hope you're doing good. Welcome to another POV photography video here in London. So, starting west around Leicester Square, Covent Garden, and then heading east, ending up at around Bank, going via Temple, Supples, and all the usual places, especially on this particular day, the light was really, really good. Short-lived, but good. So, lens-wise, it was a 35mm f2, which is around a 50mm full frame. It is one of my favourite lenses for a general walkabout street photography lens. It can be a little on the tight side, especially if you're in a more open environment, but overall, I got the best results with this particular lens, which is why I use it so much. Anyway, I hope you enjoy the video. Um, you will probably not see many more videos of me in this um, apartment here because I am moving so I might not post as often over the next few weeks while I sort of sort my life out when I move to the new place get it set up all the usual stuff but anyway you don't need to know that that's just me waffling enjoy the video um, comment down below with your thoughts and as always I'll see you in the next one thanks as always I say thanks all the time so thanks and see you in a bit bye <laughs>
Also, if you're wondering what these spots are on my forehead, then here, they are warts, or they used to be warts until I had them removed whilst I was in lockdown. They just take a lot longer than I expected to heal up. So while I'm walking around looking for someone to photograph, I'll, I'll tell you a little something about, that might explain a few things. So there are two things. The first one is in some videos, I tend to twitch around a lot and move around a lot. And that goes hand in hand with me, for example, using the GoPro now, not another camera, and literally just going out with one body and one prime. And the main reason for it is because I've damaged my neck so I've got two discs in my neck that are damaged. Can I get through there? Yeah, okay. I've got two discs in my neck that are damaged. Bye, mate. And because the discs in my neck are damaged, I can't carry too much weight because as soon as I put weight on, the disc compresses in my neck, which then pinches a nerve that goes through my back and into my arm. And then I just get a dead arm base. Well, not a dead arm, but I get like pins and needles it's very uncomfortable so um, yeah in terms of how I damaged it it was a mixture of I think it was a snowboarding crash a few mountain bike crashes maybe a car crash as well can't remember but it was a numerous things which kind of smashed it up now there's not much that I can do I'm stuck with this for the rest of my life so I am kind of reassessing my entire equipment list my entire workflow because ultimately the lighter the video setup is, the lighter the photo setup is, the more often I can head out and the longer I can stay out. Because trust me, when, trust me, I went all northern. Trust me, when, um, when your neck is going, you cannot be asked to take photos or make videos. The amount of times I headed into London was about to make a video. So that's the only problem with the GoPro, the low light is shit. But anyway, but yeah, I'll go out, start doing a video, and then my neck is playing up and I'm just like, nah, this is long and I'll sack it off. But, oh, motherfucker, I missed a good shot. Fuck's sake. Anyway, the light's coming out now, so I better start taking pictures. Fuck's sake, man, that's exactly the photo I was going for the first time round, but I was too late. I think it was too late now as well to get it, but I might have got just a bit of it. I'll show it to you anyway, even if it's completely out of whack. Yeah, I will. <laughs> Thank you. 